everybody, this is Dario Hunt from Living Life Fearless, and we're finally back with some video reactions, so we're going to catch up on some older ones, and this time we're going to talk about Drake and more life. No matter how you may feel about Drake, I personally think he can be real corny at times. It's impossible not to acknowledge that he's pretty much got the game in a headlock right now. Seemingly, everything he touches turns to gold, and he's long since past being just a rap star. Views, while still was a hip-hop album, was his biggest push in the pop so far, and it was also his biggest commercial success. It's really no surprise that he returned with that more pop-leaning sound with this self-described playlist. Now, while I didn't understand what he meant by playlist, after I gave it a couple of listens, I kind of understood a little bit more what he was trying to get at. It's not an album, and it's not a mixtape. It's more of just a collection of sounds that have been inspiring his music lately. The production is probably his most eclectic to date, with sounds ranging from electronics to dance, to island music, to afro pop, to grime, and just more. He's always experimented with different sounds, but this is by far his most experimental. I was a bit disappointed that he went the pop route instead of getting something a little more hip hop, especially after views, but the songs really did start to grow on me the more and more I listened to it. Blim has an infectious island rhythm, Passion Fruit is oddly satisfying, and Sacrifice has been pretty much non-stop rotation since it dropped. And if Glow is what we've come to expect from a Kanye joint project, then I'm all for it. He's really seemed to have developed a love for London music, so it really wasn't a surprise to see the likes of Sanfa, Skepta, and Giggs on here. It was a bit surprising, however, to see some of them get entire tracks to themselves. This was really like a joint project, and he gave them a lot of spotlight to shine. A lot of people accuse him of being a culture vulture and using newer acts to stay relevant and cool. And while I do think there's some truth to that, I really think it's more just his immense ear for what's hot and what's going to be popular in the future. He's always had a huge role in mainstreaming a lot of new artists and sounds, and More Life is no doubtly going to do that again. While I do still wish there was a little more hip-hop from him, it's hard to argue the results. This is another win for him. Have you heard more life? What'd you think about it? Where'd you rank this in this catalog? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to head over to Living Life Fearless and leave your own reaction and rating for the album. And if you want to grab some of the gear that we wear in our videos, like this and this, head over to our shop and grab some today. You say you change, but you never change your 44. Twenty-two, you build it up to break it off with you.